was looking at uh, some of the telemedicine companies. What I found is that some of the telemedicine companies that were appearing in articles um, about leading players, that many of them were smaller companies, so smaller startups or uh, just smaller companies, uh, I think, because telemedicine, while it's been around for a number of years, uh, and there are some some bigger players, there are also a lot of uh, smaller to mid-sized players, and I wasn't so... I didn't feel as confident to invest in them. Maybe if you have any thoughts on that. Yes, um, of course, smaller companies have less, less checks and balances above all. They have more risks with customers that might, might have a big influence on the company. And, um, uh, and, and for that reason, smaller companies are a bigger risk, definitely. Mm -hmm. I would recommend to invest in larger companies because there are more managers taking care of your interest. There is more shareholder interest as well, you know, corporate, uh, corporate level checks and balances where investors and boards make sure the management does the right job. So I would think that larger companies are a safer investment when, when you start. However, if you invest in many small companies, then uh, each individual company has, has less of a risk or is less of a, a factor in your own portfolio. And if something goes wrong, it doesn't hurt too much. And at the same time, because every manager, every owner uh, of stock is actually interested that this company does well. So if you have many small companies, you're again safe. With smaller companies, I would think that looking at it closely is more important than with big companies. So when you decide these are really exciting new products, uh, just take more time understanding what the company is doing, understanding the people behind it, and then make a decision. While when the company is large, you can go with the flow and think there are many investors uh, at the same time invested in the same company, having done their due diligence and came to the conclusion that the stock price I'm paying today is the right price. So you don't have to worry that much. It's a little bit more passive if you invest in a large company. Do you have any other questions? So if you were to invest in a number of different small companies, would you, within a particular industry, try to select one or maybe select a few? Because obviously you want to have not so many stocks in your portfolio, but trying to identify maybe not the winner, but one that will perform over time um, within Ident industry may be hard. Identifying be future winners is difficult because every, every management team wants to be a winner. Uh, and knowing more than, than, than other people in the market is difficult. It can be done. It's done many times by professional investors. They spend a lot of time understanding these companies and trying to identify the company that may perform better than what actual investors think. And for that reason, is an underpriced company. Mm -hmm. And that will give you then an outperformance return. What I'm really careful is um, with, with companies that have a lot of hype around them. There I will be careful because hype tends to overshoot. So as long as it's a company in the diagnostics field, telemedicine, um, which is not as sexy as, let's say, vaccines right now, um, I think there's less hype. So it's more... It's, it's, it's more likely that the price of the stock is justified. It's not too high. And there, I would probably go with all the stocks that you can handle. Uh, if, if a stock becomes too small in your portfolio, then the effort of owning that additional stock is not really worth it. So I would more think that, you know, make a, a, a threshold, you know, start investing after a certain amount and put that more or less in relation to your entire portfolio. So if you, if that threshold is $2,000 or $5,000, uh, that's a fine threshold as long as you keep the stock for a long time. Okay. And if that allows you to invest in more stocks, you know, you can do that. But if you're excited about one stock, you may want to focus more on one stock. Mm 